everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a different video that I really didn't think I would ever film just because, I don't know, I don't really feel like I'm worthy enough to be making a video about this. But anyway, I had a couple people, and I literally mean like two people, message me about how I make my thumbnails. And yeah, I went back and forth on debating if I would even film something like this just because I know that my channel has so far to go and even just looking back six months ago, it's improved like insanely. And so I really just like see my channel somewhere else and in bigger, better ways. But I did want to take away from like the current moment and reflect on the things that I've taught myself and the things that I've learned and hopefully be able to pass those on to some of you. Um, so even if it is just one or two people, that's why I started YouTube was to connect and to help with other people. Even if you weren't one of the ones to kind of ask me a question, I hope that you find this interesting and maybe it helps you as well. If not, a fun makeup video will be up on Friday, so look forward to that. So hopefully this goes well and you learn a little bit um, about kind of how I make my thumbnails and what I've been able to learn along the way. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you're new or if you're a returning viewer and would like to know when I upload and just support my channel and my community. It would mean a lot to me. Don't forget to hit the like button as well and let's just hop right in. Okay. I feel like the intro I'm so like polished in this and then when I get into the video I'm like Okay, let's just do this. Um, okay, so like I said, I, I didn't really think that this was going to be something that I ever needed to film. I will start off by saying that thumbnails are huge, obviously. Um, I feel like I've seen such a positive growth on my channel just by switching up my thumbnails. Again, I keep my content very authentic to me. I don't do a lot of challenge type videos or anything like that. Not that that's wrong at all. It's just my channel's very, I feel like a little bit more laid back. I do a lot of, you know, at my house and vlogs and what I eat and stuff like that. So it's not so much like catchy titles and, and stuff like that. So that can be a challenge when you're trying to build up your channel when it's very just like authentic to you. That can kind of be difficult, I feel like sometimes when you're not following those trends, but it doesn't mean it's impossible to grow your channel. I think it just takes a little bit longer and people will feel you know, your genuineness and we'll just come along for the ride and everybody has a niche on YouTube. Everyone likes a certain thing, everyone likes to watch certain videos, like we're all very different in what we attract and I think that goes for your thumbnail as well. You just have to figure out what the theme is for you. For me it's just very like, I just want my thumbnails to be cute and just like kind of match my aesthetic of all of my other platforms that I'm on, um, mainly Instagram. Um, where are they going with that? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't do how-to videos because I literally don't know what I'm saying. So anyway, yes, learning how to kind of master your thumbnail to your specific style I think will be huge. I have a couple tools that I will share with you in just a minute, um, but let's just hop right in. I'm going to be screen recording my phone, um, so hopefully that's helpful. <sighs> I don't know how to do this. Anyway, so I'm going to be showing you how I created this um, thumbnail. So this was like my most recent thumbnail. I love it because again, it's just like my aesthetic. It's very cute, it's very light, nice, beautiful pictures, and that's exactly what I want. Sometimes it's hard to find a thumbnail when you're doing like something like a vlog, and how do you make that cute? Um, or just whatever you're going for, I think once you find your style, you just have to run with it and be confident in what you put out. Um, and people will start to notice like when they see that thumbnail, like, oh, that's Carly, because I know that font, or oh, that's this, because that's her style of editing, you know? like. You'll just start to get familiar with people's thumbnails. And then again, that just becomes something that's true to you and true to your brand. And I think that that's huge. Um, okay, so this is the thumbnail that we are going to be editing. Um, so what I did is this is just a screen grab from the video that we took. I will always do at the end, sometimes if I know I don't have like a cute picture to use off of my phone, I will just like, and that's a thumbnail. You know, you just stay for like two seconds. That way you can just grab it from your... Um, whatever software you edit on and just make that your thumbnail. Um, so that's what we did here just because I felt like it was easier and it would come out cleaner. Um, so the one thing that I'm going to do is I like to have kind of different pictures coming off of it as well rather than just the one single one. Um, so the first app that I'll go into is it's called Over and this is a free app. You can choose to purchase other edits and stuff and different I think it's backgrounds, but I, I don't do any of that. I just do the free stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just hit that yellow and then I'll hit this transparent. And then what's nice about this is they already have the feature for YouTube to um, 
like the measurements for a thumbnail on YouTube, which is great. Um, so I will plug that in and I'll just hit the check button. And this is where you'll upload, oh, hang selfies. <laughs> this is where you'll upload your image. And this is what I will say about thumbnails. Everyone is like, every single one that I put up is different because they're just like kind of handcrafted by me. So this one may even look different to the one that I've already made, but you get the gist. So I will kind of just like, I don't know, format it to kind of where I want it. And you can like, you know, pinch it around. Um, it's like when you're typing on a computer and people are watching you, this is very difficult. So then I wanted to grab some pictures from our wedding. As you can see, I have a lot. Um, I think they're up here. Okay, so this one I really wanted to use because I love that it shows like our vow book. It's just so cute. So I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller and put it up in the corner because I kind of, if you can see, I kind of have like bald spots in my hair. So that was like a trick way of like hiding those. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it in the corner because I feel like it looks cute there. Then I'm going to add the second photo, um, which is the one that we're kissing. Where is it? There it is. This one, I think it's just gorgeous. The light is so cute. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and just kind of stack it on top of the other one. Just like that. So I'm kind of covering myself a little bit, but I feel like it's not bad because there's kind of a lot going on. There's a lot to look at. People won't really notice that. So that's how I kind of format that collage style look. I love doing that for like our travel vlogs or stuff like this where it's almost like a scrapbook moment. I love doing that. So then you'll just hit the export and you'll just save it. Since we did transparent, it will just be completely white, which is nice. I did want to let you know on this app, you can do like cute texts on here. Some of them you can purchase for cuter ones. I don't do my texts on this, but you could, let's say, do that as you get the point that would be the wording on that but I don't ever do that through this app what I like to use is an app called a pick monkey it's this one right here on the right on the bottom <sighs> I got that wrong directions make me nervous <laughs> so that was on the right <laughs> and um, this one is an app that you do have to purchase I can't remember the full price but I will leave that in the description below I will leave all of these links to the apps down below for you um, so what I'll do is I will just hit edit video, I mean edit photo, <laughs> and there's our photo that we created. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this edit button, and this is where I like to put all of my text and graphics. I feel like this app makes it look the cutest, and it's just like, it's fun. So we're going to do reacting. Oh. So for this one, I wanted, I can't really remember now. I think I did this one white, and you have lots of different fonts here, which are really fun. Some of my favorites, you guys might be able to tell, is this one, Comica Axis. I just love how like big it is. And I love to do a little bit of a shadow. Just do you see how that already just like makes it pop a little bit more? Make sure I notice it. So we're gonna do a little bit of some shadow. And it's really fun. You can do like a nice curve that's very trendy right now, like cute little curving of your letters. I'm just gonna keep it straight for this one. Just depends on what I'm feeling, but this one I'm gonna keep it straight. I just forgot that I think I did reacting to in white. Yes, okay. <laughs> I had to remember what it looked like. Um, I like to do two different fonts because I feel like it makes it a little bit more exciting, a little bit fun. Um, so I'm gonna do our wedding video. I cannot spell. Okay. This one I'm gonna keep black because it defaults to black and when I noticed that it was black, I kind of liked the way that it looked. And then with this one, I'm gonna do a shadow as well, but I'm gonna do a white shadow just to kind of get that contrast a little bit. And then we're gonna bump it up a little bit. And we're going to change the font. I think I can remember what, what font I used. Um, there's just so many, it's, it's fun to kind of play around. Um, I think I did this one. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna, ooh. We're just going to kind of angle it and position it so that it just like looks right to the eye. You're gonna find like when you're making your thumbnails, you just have to do what looks right. It's hard to kind of teach it, at least for me. Um, but to me, that looks super cute. And then one thing that I really love to do is add graphics. I feel like that's what makes it pop. That's what makes it cute. I don't really like using emojis or anything like that. Um, I just like doing, like these are my recent ones, just very like hand sketched. Um, if you saw my, video and already saw this thumbnail then you'll notice like I put a little heart I like to put the hearts in the corner you can make them in the front or in the back um, which is cute you can kind of like 
go under the R. Like it just, I don't know. I just love that like very handwritten graphics. I don't know. The one thing that you can do with the graphics, so I love to do like hearts, stars. I do hearts and stars all of the time. I'm like five. Um, but I love to do, if you go over to, I think it's design. Yeah, if you go over to the design, category you can go down and you can see where those three hearts or cute little stars um, but you can also do things like this the dry brush i love to do this you guys have probably seen um, and i just will pick a color it's so fun to pick a color that matches kind of the theme of the video oops so i keep it with red with here but you can put this behind and it again will just make your i'm so like fidgety, like precise about it, it bugs me. <laughs> um, but it makes your thumbnail pop a little bit more. Obviously it's covering my face, so you can make it a little bit smaller so that it's not, you know, all over the pictures, but, and then just stick it in the back. Okay, really? And then just stick it in the back and it just gives your font just a little bit something extra to look at. Um, but again, for the purpose of, ooh, that's how you zoom for the purpose of recreating my old thumbnail, I'm just gonna delete that and do the one that I did, um, which was the cute little heart. I feel like I can't remember where it is. Oops, it might be in shapes. There it is, so it's under shapes, and there's just all these cute graphics, like I just love them so much. Um, so we are going to do this little heart, and I like to do a cute maroon. It reminds me of like our wedding, We those were our colors, so I'll just stick it in the corner, stick it in the back, and there is my cute thumbnail. So I'll just save it, and you can do lots of things. You can touch up, you can put effects on your pictures. I never do anything like that just because I go and edit it already, um, and then I'll just save it and save it to my camera roll. It's right there for you. So there is my cute little thumbnail. As you can see, super easy, and then I'll just go into my YouTube studio and click this little pencil and then you can edit and change your thumbnail to whatever it is but oh I guess I did it differently but you get the point <laughs> um, so that is how I do my thumbnails if you guys are wondering how I edit my videos I will go in Lightroom that I have a little preset that I made um, it's just I don't really understand presets like I mean, I get them, but I don't think I'm the best at making them, but I kind of just did whatever I was feeling. Um, and I will just like put my little preset over top, or I also really love Viesco. You guys are probably super familiar. That's where I edit a lot of my pictures as well. Um, and yeah, that's how I get the job done with editing. I did want to just quickly mention that for all of my stories, if you're ever wondering how I do stories to announce my new videos, I will always go into this app, Story Art. And again, this one is free, but you can obviously purchase whichever ones that you're interested in purchasing. You can plug in your own pictures. I love to do like a picture and a video clip of the um, video that I just uploaded. Um, so yeah, so Story Art is where I do all of my Instagram stories. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, I will link all of the apps that I use down below for you guys. And I will be sure to include if ones are free or if you have to purchase. I know the only one that I use that I have to purchase is the, oh, I forgot what it's called. Monkey Pick? Pick Monkey? Pink monkey. That's the only one that does um, cost upfront, but I love it. I use it every single time I upload, so it's so worth it to me. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, hopefully that helped you guys and you found it interesting. If not, again, there'll be another video that hopefully you'll like. <laughs> but I had so much fun filming this. I was a little nervous about how I would go about it. Um, but YouTube is something that's so like special to me, and being able to share what I've learned with you guys is so fun. Like that's my favorite thing to talk about is YouTube and what I've learned and what you've learned and just collaborating um, together on YouTube stuff like I just am obsessed with it I already said but my channel has so far to grow um, so hopefully these little nuggets of information have helped you they've helped me tremendously and I'm excited to see how they help you guys so let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye